First Cameroonian to ever do it. Kanku Intus is doing it big. This is Office Entertainment and today we are going to talk about Kanku Intus. It's film The Fisherman's Diary has just been acquired by Canal Plus and man it's breaking records and everything. So recently he made a live video talking about the film being acquired and he said billions or nothing. I mean that film being acquired by Canal Plus is man is very big win for him and he has his upcoming project which he says is more bigger than the fisherman's diary as in the first Cameroonian film to have a white uh, Netflix deal worldwide Netflix deal and you know have many awards more than 100 awards worldwide you get he says Gano is more bigger than the fisherman's diary and you know, Kang Quintus made a live video about this, talking about his fisherman's diary being acquired by the French distribution giant, Canal Plus. You know, he made a live video about this, and some people called him arrogant and very proud. I think some are just jealous of him, like seriously. He's actually the first Cameroonian to ever do it, to put a film on Netflix, which is worldwide streaming. You get to have a worldwide Netflix deal. That's very big, you know, billions or nothing. As he says, billions or nothing. Okay, I, okay, I can understand that many people think he's proud or something. He's not arrogant. Many people think he's proud or something because he wants to showcase himself. He's that type of person who wants to celebrate peace, celebrate his success. Like in the premiere of the Bamboo's last, which he was invited. You get, he talked about when the Nigerian, as Chidi Mokeme and the, the other one, they talked, they talked about supporting Cameroonian entertainment industry, supporting the Cameroonian movie industry. Kankwe took the microphone and came to support the, support the fact that it's more of collaboration rather than the support, rather than them, them supporting us, collaboration with mutual respect. And I can understand that he said that because the film Fisherman's Diary, some people think that it was being acquired by Netflix just because Ramsey Noah was in this film. And this is very bad. You cannot take someone's hard work, his energy he puts in the film, he's the producer, and at one time he was even a director and one of the leading characters. He worked very hard for this film and you cannot see it's because of the Nigerians, it's because of, of Ramsey Noah that the movie got acquired by, the, by Netflix. He has another big project called Ngano. He says it's even bigger than the Fisherman's Diary. The Fisherman's Diary have won more than 100 awards worldwide, got an Oscar nomination, and even got acquired by Netflix. He says Ngano is more bigger than the Fisherman's Diary. It, now, since he didn't want to take, you know, someone from Nigeria or an actor from Nigeria, he now takes someone from Amer from America from Nollywood to come and act. He's actually the leading one of the leading leading characters in the Rwanda the Rwanda genocide film. You get he comes, he pays millions to come and act. Actually he actually said if it is more of support, why don't these people claim to support the entertainment industry, claim to support the movie industry, pay their flight from where they are from to this country? Why don't they do that? If they want to really support the industry so you get you can't take all his hard work and you know put it on someone who just is being uh, is getting paid for the work he does you get i can understand that most of them come to Cameroon and support those small movie industry but him he considers himself as a big personality also the leading you know director in Cameroon, really leading producer to his top so you get so Ganu will be premiered very soon and he will make a worldwide tour. Ganu will make a worldwide tour and his new company, the Lions Gate, will be open very soon. So you have to stay updated, stay you know, enlightened. Anything you don't understand, anything you have an issue on or you have an opposing view of what I said, please just comment it in the comment section and we will talk about that. Ganu is working very hard to come on in the map. To come with the warm up when he talk about film industry. Can you imagine in Ghana he was a director, the actor, producer, he financed everything, the executive producer. I mean, that's something very stressful. Many Cameroonians can't even imagine of being, you know, doing that. He did almost everything like 
the energy he put in acting, in doing something big, very top notch. And some say, and he, when he said he can't uh, feature in a Cameroonian film, which is not of quality, which is not being paid very high, some criticize him, say he's arrogant and everything. You get his brand, that's what you call branding. You brand yourself in the entertainment industry. That gain credibility. He can't go and feature in one film just because maybe he wants to support or something. He support money with um, finance. He has just supported Shoyo and he supports Kosi. You get he supports financially, he supports personally. He directs some movies. You get so he can't just feature in any film just because of anything he has to brand himself and some still have a problem with that so do comment in the comment section if you have an opposing view next video dropping soon